Conditions managed to stay dry for the most part. Uh, that says a big temperature change uh, came through just now, and it's really going to affect us more so tomorrow. Today, warm, windy, with some spotty rainfall, and a few isolated spots. Behind this big cold front coming through right now, we get some sunshine from start to finish tomorrow, which will be nice, but we're looking at a good 15 degree drop in temperature, if not more, that could set us up for some frosty conditions going into the middle of the week. So uh, behind the cold front, we are dry and clear. Any kind of hint of storms ended up well over Michigan, so really didn't see much around our backyard as that front came through, but that was a possibility earlier today. We've got a dry forecast moving forward and even a slightly quieter one too as we don't have quite as blustery winds as earlier on before that front came through. Note the temperature drop though. We are down just above freezing in the morning. Wind chill in the 20s. So drag out those winter jackets again. You're going to need them for those morning hours. Despite all that sunshine, we really struggle to warm up. We go from well above average to well below average, only topping out in the mid 50s. But thankfully, fairly calm winds mean, especially later in the day, really don't see much for wind chills. So enjoy the sunshine. Just be ready for that extra chill in the air, which does set us up for a frost or a freeze tomorrow night. So if you've already got uh, some plants and flowers poking out of the ground and you want to try to protect them, do so as we get to beyond sunset tomorrow night because uh, that frost or freeze will definitely harm some of those uh, less than hardy plants. Uh, so just make sure you're trying to cover them up or protect them as much as possible Wednesday night through Thursday morning. The frost or the freeze may help our allergies a little bit, though. Pollen has definitely been off the charts lately. Tomorrow, still looking at a high allergen level. Thursday and Friday, though, down a little bit. Not a big uh, drop, but at least we do see some allergy relief as we had later this week. A lot of that, as you can see, mainly tree pollen, which hopefully will level off in the coming weeks. Then watch the weekend. Showers and storms likely each day starting Friday could have some severe weather in the mix. Still to be determined just when that all could develop. Uh, so make sure you pay attention to the forecast in the coming days. By the weekend, as you can see, we're up a good 20 degrees, near 80 by Saturday with those stronger storms. And then cooling off slightly next week in your most accurate 10 day forecast. Could see some active weather for the start of May. A lot more in the way of showers coming in that long range forecast. And the four degree guarantee four off, but that still is on the dartboard. So cash total is up to 65.